Welcome back. 60 Minutes to Lose on the NES. Kung Fu Heroes. Today we've got, uh, yeah, like I said, Kung Fu Heroes. <laughs> Developed and published by Culture Brain. One that I don't know a whole lot about. So let's just... Ooh. Good sound, good audio. Exceptional stuff. Alright, so what is this game? Oh, wait, you know what? I said I'd never heard of this game, but I have definitely seen this gameplay before. I can tell from the massive fists. I don't know if this uh, is going to be a game worth playing or not, but uh, well, we, we we get a whole hour with it to determine, so that should uh, theoretically... Okay, we've died. That should theoretically be enough time to make that kind of decision. Why do we have kind of like a... Oh, hold on. What is this song? I'm trying to remember what the song title is called. It's not Pipeline, is it? Why is Pipeline the background music to Kung Fu Heroes? Anyway, one level down. Next level, one, two. I think... Oh, oh, we can jump. I was gonna say, I think that that's all there is to it. Okay, they'll, they'll just kill us. We can't punch them. You know... We learn. We can jump, but I don't know how much that's going to actually help us. You gotta really watch out for the jumping enemies, though. They've killed me once. Yeah, and don't... Don't touch the bootleg like likes. Uh, it's a Zelda enemy. They're kind of blobs with big scary teeth. And there we go, level done. Perfect. Well, so far, not a lot of Kung Fu. And I don't know if I'm a hero or not. For all I know, I have barged into somebody else's home. Completely unwelcome. Did... Oh, okay, I'm not dead yet. Okay, those things grab you, and you can't punch them. So, let's, let's try to remember that now. Stay out of the way of the big ol' speakers that also look like filing cabinets. That's a one-up. That's for me. There we go. We, we jumped and collected it. Perfect. I figured that much out, at least. Again, the speaker, get out of here. Ah, oh, we've died again. Well, there goes our one-up that we so wonderfully earned. Don't let them jump on you, man. You, you gotta stop letting them jump on you. There we go. Oh, no! Wow, we've, we're dying a lot here. Good stuff. I've always said that dying is uh, more conducive to quality content than staying alive. It's the DSP method. Now you may be asking why even shout out Dark Side Phil? This is fun. Alright, well, no continue from what I can see, so let's just start over at the very beginning of the game and be a little more uh, conscious of what we're doing next time. Oh, we can just jump right into them. Maybe that's, that's a better route for the jumping enemies. Yeah, look at that. Oh! Okay, no, never mind. It killed us instead. You, you do kind of this weird forward lunge every time you punch. There we go. Just pretend they're Goombas. And you got it. Keep me going, Pipeline. Oh, this is not Pipeline this time. Disaster! That's my favorite song. F massive failure there. Just a real miserable time. There we go. So yeah, not, not a whole lot to talk about with this one. You know, it's, it's a very simple game. You jump, you punch. It's everything that the young adolescents are looking for in their action games. Just not... Ah, <laughs> not particularly excellent. I mean, it's not awful or anything, it's just like... You kind of sit around and wonder... Why specifically choose Kung Fu Heroes over the swath of other eligible Bachelor titles who are vying for your affection and attention? 
Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> How do we get a thousand points there? Why do we get a thousand points there? I don't know. Ah, that's another one up. Give me. I desperately needed one at this point. Although we're somehow back up to four lives. Well, three lives now because you know I've been so kind as to just die for them. I really don't like these jumping enemies. I'm having a heck of a time with them. I think you gotta you gotta really bait a jump out of them and then go in for the punch. Easier said than done, unfortunately. There we go. Easier done than said. <laughs> All right, game over. Well, made it about exactly where we made it last time with no real sign of improving. Actually, we did slightly worse. Our high score was lower. It's the jumping guys, man. It's all their fault. Okay, you can in fact die by stepping into the water. Good. <coughs> I'm having Ultima flashbacks already. Yeah, you heard it here. Kung Fu Heroes, basically the same as Ultima. Come on, I got punched by one of the brown gee boys. Do we have like a countdown for how many enemies we have to defeat? Doesn't look like it. Nice, we're down to two lives on level one. Feels very good. <laughs> we just get out of there. Alright, poor performance already. I'm gonna have a uh, exciting day as uh, my wife is upstairs painting and as such the cats are locked down here with me. Now anybody who has cats you probably know that they don't do real well with being forced into spaces. They are already mangling the door just trying to find a way out of this hell that they've been stuck in. Oh no! <laughs> just keep jumping! Just keep jumping! We gotta out jump him! Oh no! <laughs> okay, we're alive, somehow. There we go. We fooled him. We fooled him. And then we got the big guy. Alright. It's all about, you know, figuring out how... I'm, I'm really upset that I died there. It's about figuring out how to handle the individual enemy types. Uh -huh. Man, we got some really good stuff and some really terrible stuff on deck for the NES series. Oh, come on, come on, man. There we go. Which, I mean, that's, that's kind of the NES's motto, you know? It's like, hey, here's some great stuff and some awful stuff, but this is... I'll just give you a little, some tips here. We got one game coming up real soon that's considered one of the greatest NES games of all time, and another one that is considered one of the worst NES games of all time. I know, I'm excited too. You can't really just spam jumping because they'll eventually get one over on you like that. God. <laughs> I'm bad at this game, man. I don't know if I'm bad at the game or if the game itself is bad. It could be a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. It's... I'm getting, you know, kind of a chubby cherub levels of quality from this here. Where you're, you're like, it's not bad enough to put on your worst games of all time lists, but it's not remarkable enough to really be spoken of <laughs> in the present year. <laughs> Surprised at least that I do actually at least know what the game is. I didn't just from the name, but with a name like Kung Fu Heroes, can you blame me? It's not exactly exciting. Yeah, not not very great graphics. You know, they opted for the wide sloppy sprites, <laughs> which is certainly a choice <laughs> and absolutely a style we have seen on the NES many a time already. Look at that. Crushed him from above. Crushed him from above. 
you can kind of do a diagonal jump like that, and if you can land it, it's highly effective. If you miss it, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Yeah, like, like that, as if I had to illustrate it. God. <laughs> See, now, that was a situation where I, I felt like I had punched several times, and that several of those punches should have landed. They didn't, so I'm kind of arguing a nonsense point there, but, you know, it's like, cut me some slack, game. I genuinely thought I was onto something there. Jumping on the uh, spear guy seems to be pretty effective, though. Oh, look at that. Nope. Oh my god. Oh wow, okay, okay, we're figuring it out, we're figuring it out. Am I figuring it out or am I getting lucky? It doesn't matter, either way it's results. Okay, okay. Nice, another one up. Beautiful. Oh, and then immediately waste it. Don't, don't waste it, how about, how about we... Yo, oh, we passed the level! How about that? That's a, that's a good outcome. Oh no, why would you die right there? Okay, <laughs> jeez. Really wish I wouldn't have died once more going through there, but, um, you know. Okay, what do we got going on here? The music tells me that this is nothing good. With a lot of unkillable enemies ro roaming around. At least I'm pretty sure they're unkillable. Haven't found a way to kill them yet. But nothing else is spawning in their stead, really. Do we just have to survive? Is this like a survival gauntlet kind of level? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh! Okay! What are you? I don't <laughs> I don't like you, whatever you are! You stay far away. Okay, well, there's one death to it. If we die when we touch it, how are we supposed to punch it? Oh, do we- I guess we just literally avoid it. Okay. Makes sense. Nice. An another 3,000 points. You get those points for jumping over the spear and onto his head. That's what I have deduced at this point. I just want to beat World 1, you know? Prove I'm not totally worthless. At Kung Fu Heroes, that is. If there's one inalienable, unmutable right of man, it is to be good at Kung Fu Heroes. That's what the Founding Fathers wrote in their diary. It's not in the Constitution, it's just in their personal journals. But a lot of people like to cite those journals as, as if they are the Constitution, and so that's how we wind up with these weird rules, like you gotta be good at Kung Fu Heroes. Oh, you can in fact jump on the, uh, slime balls. You just can't punch them. Okay. Good intel. World 1, beaten. Welcome to World 2. Oh no, they have guns. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Actually, I know I don't like that. Okay, well, good thing we got two, uh, two extra lives for coming to this world. Because we've already lost one. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, he nearly got me. Nice, 3,000 points again. Anytime you jump over something that can kill you, the game loves to give you bonus points, and you know what? Good. I've earned it. For avoiding certain death. <laughs> I'm just, you know... I really don't love to get in fights with the jumpy boys! Okay. We're out. We're out. We're good. Definitely the furthest we've made it now. Good stuff. 2-2. Bring me my supper. Okay, we can't jump on that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, 
so I guess the, that person will just exist passively and there's nothing I can do about their presence in the world. Jump on the slugs. Maybe there's a way to kill them, but I haven't found one yet. Oh no! We finally got shot in the back of the head. It's only a matter of time until it happened. Admittedly. Oh no! Oh! We're stone. Okay, so they don't they don't kill you outright. That's that's good, I think. The jumping guys kill you outright though, so that's still not good. No, <laughs> come on! I thought I jumped. Ah, oh, if they if they land like a pixel on you, you're screwed. Mm. No good, man. Damn you, culture brain. I made fun of Electro Brain at one point in this series for being a, a developer that nobody cares about, but maybe I meant Culture Brain. Maybe I mean them both. Because Electro Brain, they didn't really... They, they weren't around for the NES era, so I, I, it could be that I'm not... I was thinking of the wrong company. And, uh, dragged the wrong guys into it. In which case, I, apolo I apologize any former Electro Brain... team members... developers... See that? That's what we call ballsy. Jumping over the pond when you don't have to, knowing full well that you could die immediately. You can't tell me I don't have stones every now and then. You can tell me I'm not super great at some of the games I play, that's fine. That would be accurate. Slightly rude, but accurate. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, come on! <laughs> Classic me, shout yeah, 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 immediately pivot to no. I hate the jumping ones. They are the worst enemy. By a good margin, too. Nice. Get yourself out of there, man. I went out to mow the yard, the lawn, whatever you want to call it. I'm still hot. It's not even hot outside, it's like 60 something. I don't even think that it's hit 70 yet. Great! I mean, to be fair, we did get a thousand points out of it. <laughs> a, f a fair trade, good trade deal. You kind of just gotta get up in their face a lot of the time. Thank you for the one up. Uh, gotta get up in the jumping guy's face, that is. You know, they're. They're the biggest problem for you, so you just have to approach them as if you don't fear them, even if you do. Alright, 1 4. Feels like we got here much easier this time. Hopefully, that means we are actually improving. Yeah. Now that I know I can destroy the little um, squish slug things, don't ask me to give them a proper name. And then we've learned we just avoid this guy. We just stay far away from him, and that's all you need to do. As you say, don't actively come near me. He didn't. We're fine. I'm still not quite certain where the Kung Fu comes into play here. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Kung Fu, so it could be that I'm just wrong about this, but I'm fairly certain that that an excessive amount of front flips is not actually part of how you would spar in the Kung Fu style. Two, one. Nice. Get wrecked. 
Oh no! <laughs> Should have jumped again. Okay. Ooh, can I do that too? I can! Wonderful, a nice little, uh, warp. That'll probably get me killed before it'll help me. <laughs> Would like to jump- yeah, 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 I was gonna say, jump on the guy with the gun. It appears to be a safer strategy than just punching him outright. Okay! We're making moves. We're going further. I think. Did I not make it to 2-U before? Maybe I did. Oh, I think I did, actually. Never mind me. I, oh yes, I did, right. The petrification boys. The biggest problem that I have <laughs> found so far. Actually, I, I think the jumping the jumping lads are still a bigger problem than the petrification lads. We're we're getting a good amount of kills. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go! <laughs> Made it through as we were petrified! Yeah! Alright. One step further and it'll be the farthest I've ever been away from home, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, I want to go back home. Like, the jumping guys, they're not even a problem for me anymore, except for when they are, which could have been right there. <laughs> 3,000 points, and then just le leave right out the front door. Perfect. I'm, I'm getting it figured out here. 2-4. Can we make it to World 3? Probably. Oh, no. Never trust enemies with giant horns. I, I, I can almost guarantee that means you can't jump on them. Well, yeah, okay, you die if you jump on them, but it appears I can't really punch them either. You want to explain the- pff, come on, and then they punch you. Well, that's- that's gonna be- that's gonna be bad. I don't look forward to that. And you got lightning bolts flying across the scene. It's obscene. Did I specifically choose to say obscene because I said seen? Maybe. That's for me to know. Although I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. It just comes out, you know? Alright. I know, I'm not talking, I'm paying attention to the game. Letting you appreciate the uh, lovely background music, it's more important than anything. <laughs> he's so mad that he's locked down here. <laughs> Poor cat. Toulouse, I highly suggest you find a nice place to curl down and take an elongated nap. The day will go by much quicker if you choose to approach it that way. He's like, but I'm not tired! Just like a... human real life baby. World 1's becoming less of a problem for me, so that's good. I can at least approach this with the knowledge that I am improving gradually. <sighs> that could have gone either way, that encounter. God, thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where the one-ups are spawning. There we go. That one almost got away from me, which I would have felt real bad about. <sighs> what else is going on? Uh, watched CM Punk's return to uh, professional wrestling last night, and y yeah, I cried a little bit. It was uh, it was cathartic. He was the wrestler who got me into pro wrestling. He's been gone out of the ring for seven years. And now he's back with AEW. I can't think of a better place for him to be. I'm just, uh... I was real happy about that, so yeah, last night was a good night. Uh, dying there was bad. <laughs> I also, uh, finished the community center in Stardew Valley, which... I am, for the moment, calling my set-down place. Like, I'm sure I'll come back to the game at a later date, but for now, I'm marking it as being finished, beaten, at a, oh, come on, at a, being beaten at a basic level. Obviously, with a game like Stardew Valley, there's about a million more things to do in it. But, you know, I, I need to switch over to a different game. I'm at the point where I'm... I'm seeing myself gathering crops in my sleep, like... You ever get that where like you play a certain game and then you lay down and you close your eyes and really I, I wasn't even on the same plane that sucked anyway uh, you're playing a game and then you go down lay down close your eyes and then you just like see it flashing for you and then you can't sleep and you're like ugh, ugh. I'm like yeah that's how you know it's time to set it down beat the community center drove Joe Jamart out of town that's a perfectly good enough place to say goodbye for now. But one, but someday I'll want to play it again, and then I'll just continue where I left off, you know? And then I'll be like, alright, let's see what else we can manage in this game. That's, that's always been the trickiest part for me about, like, those, those games that don't really have an ending. It's like, when do you cross it off your list and say, alright, I've quote-unquote beat it. You, oh, no! Terrible. Been a while since I've died to a jumper, actually. I think. At least been a while since it, uh... Stuck in my head that I died to one. Maybe you can kill these... Petrifying enemies, but... I don't know. If you can, it's with techniques that the Jedi wouldn't teach you. Kind of weird how uh, the enemy with the teeth at the very top of it, you can't uh, punch, but you can jump on. You know, it seems a little, a little strange, a little off. All right, they're all fast. I get it. They all want a piece of me. They don't get anything from me. I'm not sure what kept me more awake last night, the CM Punk return or... Come on, cat. <laughs> you don't gotta do that. Or, um, Stardew Valley. It, between the two, I was running on too much adrenaline. Yes, the adrenaline of a farming game. You heard that right. Get me out of here. He's <laughs> so mad. <laughs> He's so upset. Man, did you see that? See those sick dodges? So do we just ignore the horned helmet boys for now? Go for the, uh... Go for the shotgun people? Not really shotguns, I mean, there's no spread on that. It's a regular bolt-action rifle at best. Get this guy away from me. Hey, look, we avoided him. Like, I'm sure there's a way to defeat the Horned Helmet men, but, uh... It, it presently seems to be easier to just kind of ignore them. Why defeat them when you can run away like a baby? It's my philosophy. 
World 3. I asked if we could get here. The answer is yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, it's giving me only horned enemies, so yes, there is clearly... I jumped in the water. There's clearly a way to actually defeat them. I just don't know what it is. Ooh, we have an S now. I don't know what that means. We can't punch them, and we can't jump on them. So, what do you propose we do here? Start does nothing, select does nothing. Figured I'd, I'd try them out at least. You know, start pressing every other button on the controller, even, even if you don't think they'll do anything. And they jumped on me. Okay, well. I don't know. Which means, I'm gonna check the official manual. Give me a moment. Well, okay. Straight from the manual, it says, Bison Commandos. They are the strongest of all the enemies you will encounter. There is no way to successfully attack them. So, confirmed. <laughs> Maybe they'll eventually just leave, and then something else will spawn in their stead. I'm guessing that that's how it'll go. But that doesn't seem like a world I want to live in for very long. It's kind of a hell scenario there. And speaking of hell scenarios, I'm thinking about, thinking about the game Doom, as I do, uh, as everybody does. And I'm thinking, like, what's the first rendition of Doom we're gonna play? Probably the 32X version. I think we will make it through the Genesis and onto the 32X before we reach the Super Nintendo version of Doom. That's just my hypothesis. And I don't think it's at all inaccurate. I mean, yeah, the Genesis has one humdinger of a library, but uh, the SNES and NES have very large libraries in their own rights as well. The jumping, once you uh, once you figure that out a little more, is an effective technique. However, I uh, it's too effective as it works for your enemies as well. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. We're good. Nothing will stop me. Except for the bison commandos. We have kung fu commanders, floating vipers. Oh, the guys with the spears? You're never gonna guess what they're called. Spearmen. Uh, and then the guys with the guns are called gunmen. So... You can't say the game is, uh, too obtuse. <laughs> you get exactly what you pay for sometimes. And by that I mean you pay for enemy names. Those are- those are Mr. Coffin, as it turns out. That's what those are called. There's the one up, which I knew was there. Just had to remember to activate it, which I did. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my- Get out of my life, man! There we go. <laughs> He doesn't give up easily, it says. Okay. Now, apparently, the big man who spawns here can, in fact, be destroyed. You don't have to just wait him out. That's just, you know, the safest route. You punch him five times in his upper torso, and it says this in the manual, you can defeat him. And I assume, get a nice payday out of it, too. But, you know, I feel like that's just, uh, too much risk. Considering he leaves so early, like, better to just let him pass and keep your lives intact. If you're going for, you know, the Kung Fu Heroes world record high score, then sure, go for it. But if you're going for that, then you're probably good at this game anyway. At least, as good as it's possible to be at this game. I hate how everything gets faster once you're trying to get out of the level. Makes it a real pain to get out. Which, I I get it, that's the point. It's like, oh, congratulations, man. Okay, the people who petrify you are apparently the Cat Mage, who are princesses of the Demon Clan. The Demon Cat Clan, specifically. So, 
you know, just filling you all in on the juicy lore of Kung Fu Heroes. Which is probably based on, you know, pre-existing mythological lore. Come on. What a joke! Bad. <laughs> so don't try to jump past them on that plane because their sprites are so much bigger on a um, on a vertical axis 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 that they'll just land on you kind of no matter where you land. Bad stuff. Okay, so these are the cat mages. I don't think they can be defeated. The manual doesn't say anything about defeating them, which I assume just means that no, they can't. Come on, floating viper. Don't know why you're called floating vipers. You're not really floating, nor are you snake-like. You're snake-like in the fact that you're uh, always trying to get under my skin and uh, be bastards. Oh my god, come on. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm amazed he didn't just turn around and just blink me right in the head there. I was a sitting duck, but the gunman was a fool. Okay, this is where the, uh... No, the bison commandos don't spawn here. They spawn in the level after this one. Here we go. Nice! I, not nice! Nice! <laughs> okay, never mind. We've wrapped all the way back around to nice again. Nah, this game isn't awful. It's just, uh... It's just a little one-note. Never mind. This game is the worst I've played. <laughs> uh, I love dying the second that I get into a level. It's fun and good. It's the big boy! Keep away from him! Yeah, just... exactly. Just stay way over here. And you cannot be harmed. ourselves a little dance and see if we can figure out this level where it appears to only spawn bison commandos. Ooh, a thing for me. Ooh, more things for me. Ooh. I've found the secret! If you punch the rocks, you can shoot fireballs. If you can shoot fireballs, you can defeat the bison commandos. We have a key, which brings us downstairs. Where do we go down here? Hmm, the opportunity to eat many apples. Understandable. The opportunity to collect many E's. We now have two E's. Nice. I'm sure that it's very helpful. Uh, we have died, which fortunately, doesn't look like- yeah, it doesn't actually take away from our life total, it just says, hey, you're dead, man. And by that I mean you're done with the bonus. That I can take. No, that's- the, that's not gonna hit me so hard. Ah, money. Great. More money. Great. Where's my, uh, where's my fireballs, though? Kinda need those at this point. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, do I just keep punching rocks? It appears so. Okay, well... 
Uh, happy to be here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Nailed him with a rock. Nailed them with a rock. <sighs> I'd like you all to come down here, please. You're all a little bit clustered in an area where I wouldn't like you to be clustered. Well, I'm glad I started wildly punching rocks. If nothing else, it did get me to a scenario where I feel like I can try something here. Bad. Just give me, give me the, uh, the, the big punch, as they call it. Or just kill me with a fireball. That works too, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is where the game gets real annoying, I guess. This is where they just decided the fun is over. If you were enjoying yourself, you've made a mistake. I need more than whatever you're giving me, game. <laughs> Second time I've died to that fireball? I can no longer punch the rocks towards the enemies, so... Like... Oh, there we go! There we go! Wow! What an awful level. <laughs> Quite frankly. Okay, yes, I am. I am recording. Ever since yesterday when I messed up in Spellcaster for just a moment. I'm on my toes, you know? A key. Okay, another bonus round. Here we go. Give me something good. Ooh, 13 or 17? We are going to warp to 17! I am not mentally prepared for this. What is going on? Oh, can we actually kill these? We... No. Turns out we can kill the coffin boys. We just we were just sucking at it previously. Oh, look, uh, the key. Uh, don't mind if I do. Is this gonna be more warp zones? <laughs> no, this is more of a traditional experience here. A traditional bonus room. Are the apples helpful? We'll never know. Mostly because I don't care to know. Yeah, whatever. We, don't, we only lost four seconds there. Don't know what the little boxes do, but I appear to be packing some serious heat, or at least my little inventory bar would have you believe. In reality, I don't feel any more powerful than I was before. But still, look how far we've made it. Granted, we warped ahead, you know, did a little bit of cheating action. I don't care. Okay, well, we can't jump on those. We cannot punch those. What are you? Hold on. That appears to be, uh... Oh, the dragon head. You can defeat these creatures with the moon salt kick, but only after you have obtained more than five treasures. I have... Not more than five, and, and right here. So, okay, that's that's explaining why we can't uh, why we can't actually do battle against these heads. Oh no, game over! No, we got so far. Oh well, hold on now, hold on now. I'm gonna look at what some of these do. The sword, obtain this, and you can defeat the dragon clan. We had that. We had Shower and Temple Mark A and Mark B. They weaken Mr. Coffin and weaken Medusa Beam. Do they mean Cat Mage or do they mean the Medusa's Beam? I'm not sure. Okay, there are a bunch of different things though. Okay, now I know to search for power-ups though. Now we punch all the rocks. 
What do we got here? Okay. Nothing. Perfectly fine. Hold on, what is K? See, now that I've got the manual here, I'm like, I can look at what all these things are. Oh, okay, five E-balls is an extra life. I see, I see. Wasn't aware of that. What is a miracle kick? You can use the miracle kick as long as you have the smart K. Oh, okay, okay, I, I have K's. What, what do I have to do to pull off a miracle kick? I'm sorry, I, I usually pause when I read the manual, but I'm so in it right now. You know? It doesn't actually tell you how to do a miracle kick. Because it's like, hey man, if you got some K's, you can do it. And it's like, oh. Great. <laughs> the Medusa beam can be defeated with your moon salt kick. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Every time we press B, we, we use up a K. So I guess you have to preserve them to preserve your miracle kicks. Uh, seems dumb. <laughs> or... Oh, look at this. Look at this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, rack up the pointage, baby. But first we go down here. What do you got for me? Of course. Can I obtain the ease? Nope. <laughs> I have two. I need three more for an extra life. I have six lives right now. Interesting. Ah, right, we're still in this level. Sorry. We'll get out of here. This is so bad. Toulouse. No, I know, I know. Just just chill a little. Oh, he's, he's coming here. Hold on, hold on. He's coming. Hey, man. Come here. This is him. He's such an angry boy right now. He just wants to go upstairs. You just want to go upstairs. But the door is closed and you can't. Oh, he's a good boy, though. He's just a little sweetheart. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just as paranoid as he is, apparently. Okay. Alright, we have the S, but at the cost of dying. Now I'm, when I'm pressing the jump button, I'm not pulling off a miracle kick. So I'm trying to, like, determine what's the difference. What causes you to Miracle Kick and what causes you to regular Moonsault Kick. I don't know. Hey, look. Warps. <laughs> Maybe there's more depth to this game than I gave it credit for. Maybe I should learn how to respect a little bit. Oh, we have... Hold on. We, we, have, we have a scroll. We have a scroll. What does the scroll do? This appears to be scroll B. Use this to slow down Unigon, who is the big jerk. Now, of course, the downside is this is a level that I didn't want to have to reckon with again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just bring me down to bonus town. That's what they say in the old songs. The old jazz standards take me down to bonus town. E. Come to me, E. Okay, well, only one more E. Yes! One up. Beautiful. Anything is possible if you follow your heart and collect E. You've heard of the classic meme E. Now, Enjoy the beautiful extra life. We have nine miracle kicks, but I don't know how to utilize them. We should be able to make absolute mincemeat out of these enemies, but instead I'm just gonna fall in, into the water. Oh, I see. You stand still and click it. 
And that doesn't appear to have done anything to them. Oh, yep, I killed one. I killed another. So, okay, stand still and press it. And that will demolish them. However, because you have to stand still and press it, there's a high, high probability that you will get crushed instead of them. As demonstrated here, this has really gone downhill real quickly. Get rid of G! I don't know what it does, but I want it! Ah, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Let me... Please let me spam. Let me spam fireballs. There we go! We're done. We made it through. Terrible level to this day. I continue to hate it. <laughs> okay. So yes, the game is slightly deeper than I was willing to give it credit for initially. That doesn't mean I'm all in on it. Far be it for me to make that claim. Obviously, 17 again. Come on. I think I'm some kind of fool. Okay, we have the sword. So great, we can now uh, destroy the dragon clan or whatever. We've died. Yeah, the game is all like, yeah, you feel pretty big with your sword, but uh, you can't do anything with it. Oh, I have, I have five treasures. One of them is the, uh, is that the mirror? Yes, use this to have enemies beam reflected. Does that mean that you can no longer shoot me? Oh, big news there. And we've died. Game over. At least, you know, I was smart enough to look up the manual and see that there's actually more to this game than I thought. So I was able to, you know, show off a little bit more of it, leverage more of what I had to offer, and I still don't think that that's a whole lot. But it's something. Every game deserves a chance. And we've given this one a very fair one, I would say. Well, we've... <laughs> we bit the bullet quite literally in the bonus round, so that's, that's no good. Consider me a clown, bring me to clown town. However, a one-up is very much appreciated. And a G? Well, we love that too. I don't know what it does, but I'll just say I love it. Because I want to be as accepting and welcoming of all presumable power-ups as I can. Ah, I see, I see. If you get, uh, if you get enough money bags, then an E appears. If you get six E balls, you can get one P ball. And then it doesn't... Oh, wait, no, no. P balls are, uh... <laughs> They appear when you press the A and B buttons at the same time. It'll only only be done after collecting this. Once you collect this, you are undefeatable for a while. Ah, okay. The G is the gun ball. So, yeah, you definitely want the G. Unless you just hate being powerful, in which case, uh, a loser. That's the only thing I can call you. I like how they go straight if you shoot them vertically, and then they wiggle if you shoot them horizontally. Like, not even the bullets are, are consistent in this game. This is the worst first-person shooter I've ever played. But it's the best tennis game I've ever played. Well, now, let's see. We have two options. We can go down here and uh, warp, or we can do it the old-fashioned way through levels we've already seen. I don't know about you. I'd pick warp, even though level 9 is my least favorite level in the game. Nice. Yeah! Show them! Miracle kick. Didn't do anything. Nice. 
we have the scroll now, which will slow down Unigon and not do much else. I know, I should focus purely on shooting and not on trying to collect other power-ups here. The gun does not last forever. And we're gonna run out of... Yep, <laughs> we're already out of steam. I can't use my Miracle Kick horribly well because I suck! I don't suck as much as the game, though. <laughs> I know, it's rude. It's trying its best. Culture brain... They just wanted to bring culture into our brains. One kung fu match at a time. But we said, culture brain, let my people go. That was bad. Just very poorly played on my part. Not like you can play it well, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so three of the E's spawn down here. And then after the third one... Oh, nope, the other one has already spawned up there. Making me look like a fool in front of all my people? My vast audiences? My worldwide brand? Hey, at least we didn't die in the bonus room. We successfully uh, got everything we wanted to. Kind of. Kind of. The only thing I want is to get past this godforsaken level. Okay, another one dead. Another E. It takes a lot of E's. It just went right through him. Did you see that? Went clear through him. Can the rocks that go flying please respawn? I need you direly. Nope, instead it just, uh... It just got destroyed. Wait, I have higher punch power. Can I punch the bison <laughs> commandos? Nope. Oh, this is awful, man. They were like, yeah, let's let's make a level where the players gotta be real clever about dispatching their opponents. And every player in the world screamed. Oh, he's taking a nap now back there. He's decided to finally give it up. I do feel bad for him, you know? I mean, uh, that cat, he has, like, un unchecked access to the entire house, and now he's like, what? Why am I down here? And only down here. It's okay, boy. He's such a cute cat, though. Like, it's ridiculous. Yes, I have a soft spot for cats. 100%. Nope, we don't have the mirror, so we have died. But we do have our- We don't have the gun. Because we've died again. Gun! Yeah, 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 yeah! I don't think it hurts the coffins. <laughs> it hurts the vipers. The floating vipers. Okay, now we can, uh... Deflect their beams. We don't really have any time left in this episode, of course. It is pretty much the end. But, you know. We made something out of this episode, I think. Hear that little ditty once more? Until we go into 5-2 with, with all the bad, bad men. I.e. the dragon heads. But we can we can dispatch the dragon heads now. <laughs> Let's try to just Yeah 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 look at that. We got five treasures so the dragon heads can be annihilated. 
It's a good sign, but that's that's time. We got no more time to play. I apologize. That's it for Kung Fu Heroes. Maybe you were into that. Maybe that was your favorite episode so far. I say tough. <laughs> Didn't like it that much. Dragged on a bit. It's uh, it is what it is, I suppose. I don't know why I even use that phrase. I hate that phrase. I hate when people use it, but I guess sometimes you just genuinely don't know what to say. Yeah. It's a slightly dull experience, but at least there is some depth with the items and the power-ups and whatnot. Like I said, it's more chubby cherub levels than it is like Friday the 13th levels. It's not awful by any stretch. It's just, you know, a little bit uninspired, a little bit, uh, it's a C player, you know, it's in the C league. Anywho, as always, thank you for joining me. Next up. I don't know how I'm going to make this last for an hour, but uh, we have Marble Madness on the NES next up. So join me for Marble Madness whenever we do that. We still, of course, have the Master System as well going running concurrently with this. But until then, thank you so much for stopping in, and we'll catch you next time.